Welcome to Cooking with Chef Tuan, and today we are going to be baking some delicious bread. A nice giant boule, to be exact, inside of a very hot Dutch oven. Now this delicious loaf does not take a lot of work, but it does take some time, about almost five hours to be exact. As usual, the ingredients will be listed in the description box down below. Now we're gonna add some brown sugar to a really warm water and some yeast. And then after a few minutes, you should see your yeast bloom. I think this is one of the coolest things that you see in the cooking world. That is proof that your yeast is alive and it will leaven your bread beautifully. Now just add the salt to the flour and just give everything a mix. And we're also gonna add our liquid and yeast to this. I mean, you can use a food processor or a stand mixer, but since we have a lot of time today, I feel making it by hand is probably the best way to go. Now we're going to let this dough rest for one of four hours. So after the first hour, this is what you should get. You need to wet your hands and your fingers and all you're doing is just going around the side of the bowl and pulling the dough into the center so everything is a nice cohesive ball. You wanna do this for about a dozen or so times and then we're gonna wrap it up and cover it and let it rest for another hour. And after that hour, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Be sure to wet your hands and pull from the edges. Every time that we do this step now, you're gonna see and you're gonna realize that the smell of the fermentation gets stronger and stronger. That means your bread is developing more flavor. So as you can really see, there's not too much work to making this bread. You just gotta give it the time that it needs to develop its gluten and to develop its delicious flavor. Again, wet your hands and pull from the edges into the center and let it rest again. So after our third hour of fermentation, we're gonna generously dust our work surface and just gently tip our dough onto the table. Make sure you get all the dough from all the sides of the bowl. And just like we've been doing all this time, you're gonna take the corners and the edges and pull and fold into the center of the dough. Now, when you're doing this, you're going to feel tension in the dough increase. What it means is the surface area is getting tighter and tighter. And now just flip the dough over and with your hands, you wanna cup the dough as you're turning it. And after a few turns, I'm gonna remove all the flour off the work surface. And as you can see, I'm gently pulling the dough ball towards me to increase the surface tension of this dough ball to give it a really nice round shape. So for last hour of proofing, I'm gonna use this boule mold. If you don't have one of these, you can also use a mixing bowl or a giant bowl. Make sure that you lightly flour the top of the dough ball so it doesn't stick. So that top side, you wanna put it down into the bowl. Now once you get it into the boule mold or a bowl, you wanna lightly dust this dough ball and put a towel over it. And this is when you're going to preheat your oven to 450 with your Dutch oven in there. And this is how we're going to get our bread into the Dutch oven without burning our hands. We're gonna get some parchment paper, put some flour on it, and gently flip it over onto the parchment paper. Now with a light brush, you wanna take and brush off all the excess flour. Then either using a razor or a lamb or a very sharp knife, you wanna score your bread. There's millions of ways and millions of designs that you can use, you know, whatever floats your boat. For me, I just wanna keep it just nice and easy, just like so. Now that everything has been preheated up to 450 for an hour, we're gonna take our parchment paper with a dough ball on it and drop it straight inside. Be careful not to burn your hands and into the oven with a lid for half an hour. And after the 30 minutes, this is what you should get. But now it's gonna go back into the oven uncovered for 15 minutes and this is what you should get, a darker, golden brown color and you want to take your bread out of that Dutch oven pan and let it cool on a wire rack for at least 30 minutes before you cut into it. Just listen to how crusty this bread is. Beautiful. And if you want to be technical, you can insert a thermometer inside the bread. Once it hits 200 degrees, that's when you know it's fully cooked. And so now I'm just going to slice up a couple slices, serve it with some olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and I have some uh, nice spreadable goat cheese I'm going to serve alongside with this. Check out this crumb structure. No big gaping holes. You got perfect little air pockets all over the place. This bread smells incredible. There's nothing like fresh baked bread. 
All right, I'm just gonna cut these up into little manageable bite-sized pieces and then put everything on a plate and let's bring it outside. Look at our gorgeous boule with our olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and some goat cheese. Look at that beautiful lip that we created. This boule looks amazing. Perfect to start any meal or to accompany any meal. I think the next video, I'm gonna make some sandwiches. This boule is so soft on the inside with a nice crusty exterior. Perfect. Guys, you're gonna have to excuse me while I dig into this. I can't wait. After five hours, I really can't wait to eat this thing. I'm very fortunate to be spending some time with you guys on this beautiful day with this beautiful bread that we made. Guys, thanks so much for stopping by. If you like the content, please hit the like button. Stay safe out there, and as always, peace.